This would be my 1958 Royal FP Special Edition. I received this by donation from somebody that lives near my house. This is a fully functional 1950s desktop machine in very good condition. Um, Royal FP came out as the standard two-tone grey which is the most common version of this machine but Royal was known back in the day for bringing out um, surprisingly weird colors even for its, uh, especially for its day considering you had in the 1920s and 30s uh, flat top models which came out in blue, yellow, green oh, red, I have the red one um, and they did that all throughout their legacy really this is the pink version not the complete pink but with the grey and pink when I got this machine um, it was fully functional it had the protective uh, plastic on the side still over the paint but it had gone yellow and went very soft to the touch and peeled off on some places so I removed it almost all of it on some locations like over there and on this side you can still see some of the remains and that's very hard to get off especially underneath here as well I will continue looking for a solution that will remove all of it but for now it's not a bother really um, this machine came with the Royal brand uh, clean finger tape mechanism as you can see Royal uh, sold these back as a um, extra so you you put your ribbon in this and you won't get dirty fingers just by turning it um, you can see it is well this is one inside out I put it inside out for some reason um, this one you can see it better uh, it says Royal typewriter company I have to put this one on. I put this cap on inside out. I'm sorry, to, I just noticed that. Um, it's interesting to have that. It just didn't come with the machine. This was an option, and I'm happy to have this because um, I saw advertisements of this really. So I decided to keep it. It's kind of cool actually. The machine is very clean now. Um, the only rust that I found was on the K key. As you can see. You see? Um, but there's no other rust in this machine, it's very clean, I cleaned it. The paint is in good condition, there's minor chips from where the cover would hit the carriage return arm, which is a very nice one by the way. Um, and a couple of stains which are removable with the right solution, I haven't tended to that yet. When I started using this machine, it's on my desk by the way, I use this machine, which is my primary machine to use right now. Um, I noticed that the tabulator was sluggish for some reason in returning and that would cause a jam up in the advanced system so you would hit the tabulator and you couldn't continue typing because the tab setting was still engaged because the button would stay down. Uh, this turned out to be just um, one screw was tightened too much. I don't. It's hard to see. Oh, no, you can't see it. Behind here, there is a screw. Oh, you can see it a little bit. Possibly, if I turn the light. Let's see. No, it's hidden too much. Um, there is a screw in there that adjusts the tightness of the tabulator, and it was tightened too much, so the button would stay halfway down, which would cause the jam up in the system. Just by unscrewing that system and oiling it a bit, it works a charm now. It doesn't stick down anymore. Um, all the other functions work perfectly fine. There is no th anything bent out of shape. Uh, everything on this machine seems to be original. Um, there's barely any scratch. There, the m most scratches are on that panel, which of course I could just take out and clean up. Um, and there's a tiny scratch on the back, but that's it. Overall, this machine is in very nice condition. It has a touch control here. It has the ribbon direction switch and ribbon release switch here. So serial number is 6488191. And according to the typewriter database, that machine comes from 1958. 
I was surprised by that actually. I would have expected it from 64 since the first two digits are 64, but no. Turns out not to be the case. Um, when I got the machine, there was so much dust and cobwebs in there, it was disgusting. Um, it took me a really long time to clean. I took the front panel off, I took the cover off, I took the back panel off, the side panels. This is the back, by the way. Um, the foam padding in this machine, as is quite common with old typewriters, it's still intact, but upon touch, it will just disintegrate and turn into dust. Um, this machine still had some padding, but you would just touch it, it would just fall apart, crumble. Um, you can oh, no, I covered it up, but there was some, I just cleaned that up when I was fixing the tabulator. So I went out and I went to um, like a sewing store where you can buy all kinds of supplies for your sewing projects and I bought some velvet as you can see and it's in here and it's down below on the front on the inside of the front panel I put it um, on the inside of this back panel and the lower back panel and I put it on both side panels and it actually works it dampens the sound quite well it was better than without it at all and it's good stuff. I used uh, hot glue to put it on. It's it's soft velvet, but it's very strong. So uh, that was a good decision, absolutely. Especially since I want to use this machine regularly. It's a very good machine to type on. I highly recommend somebody um, finding this machine and looking for a good machine to type on. This is a very good machine to use. And of course, having it in a special edition color makes it even more fun because it's just more... It just looks better on your desk than the two-tone gray, I think. It's different. And of course, um, I was lucky to have it in pink because I have a matching Royal Future 800 in pink. So uh, th that was a good find as well, you know. Um, it's practically the smaller version of the Royal FB, Royal Future 800. Um, I suppose there are other models as well that would match. I mean, for instance, a Royal Quiet Deluxe of the 50s, or it's called a Companion, or a, uh, a Royal Arrow from the 50s would, um, if you have the plastic key version, the green keys or the white keys, um, that would be a match for the Royal HH. Now, if you have the older 40s, um, glass keys... Um, Royal Fu uh, Royal Quiet Deluxe um, Companion or Arrow which came out in black and gold with real gold by the way as well it was um, in Fleming's typewriter that would match the Royal KMM or the Royal KMG is that right? yes it is and then even going older with the same model but the older version before the 40s model that would match the Royal 10 I hope you still follow that. Um, anyhow, like I said, this machine has a new ribbon. I cleaned it up. I The plating on this is still good. You can see if I press my fingernail against it. Let's see if we can find it. There, we go. there it is. So it's still good. Plating is still good. Um, I oiled the mechanism. Not like literally this this is the color selector on the side everything on this machine works into very good condition so I'm very happy I got this um, after this video you will see a video that I uploaded earlier it's um, I wanted to make an explanation this camera and the other one were currently recording um, or they were charging the batteries and I had to use an old Kodak uh, easy share c613 camera um, but the quality on that camera is very poor and it was very shaky I noticed however I'm still uploading that video because um, the machine that I used or oh, the machine that was um, presented in that video is now in storage so please excuse me for that thank you very much for watching bye bye